Well, NCSoft did have a shareholder meeting, and we really didn't get much out of it in terms of Throne and Liberty information, but I thought I'd at least go through it with you guys real quick because I haven't done a Throne and Liberty video in forever, and I just want to let you guys know I'm still waiting for information just like all of us. There's a couple little tidbits of information, um, potentially about Throne and Liberty here that we'll go through. First, I talk about Lineage next. I think this is a translation issue. I think they're talking about Throne and Liberty here, pretty sure. This was a little concerning, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, in the world that we live in, shareholders have a bigger say than consumers do on a lot of products, and, and that's the unfortunate thing. But one of the shareholders suggested that NCSoft look at Genshin Impact and the uh, type of monetization they had more or less. In response, the NCSoft representative basically said, I like Genshin Impact. It's a good game that made NCSoft think big. I learned a lot from Genshin Impact Global Service, and we are making many new attempts so that future games can achieve results in various markets. Now, very vague and probably some translation issues as always, but I understand Genshin Impact is highly profitable, and a lot of people do enjoy it, but it's obviously one of the more egregious pay-to-win type of games out there, as are all the gotcha style games. So not great to see, but obviously it doesn't say anything about Throne and Liberty just yet. Of course, we're all very nervous that they're going to have a lot of pay to win in it, but we don't know yet. And then this was apparently also in the shareholders meeting from some other source, but I couldn't find the original source. This was just a clip posted in one of the discords. Apparently one of the shareholders asked if there's still a first half release planned or if there's an updated schedule. And they're still coordinating this with Amazon. They'll be able to tell us a final release date once discussions with Amazon are complete. So not really new information. Um, we know that Blue Protocol is releasing in the second half of the year for Amazon. So I assume they're going to try to get Throne and Liberty out before Blue Protocol. That would be my assumption. And also, yes, they'll probably push past the Diablo 4, especially now that we haven't heard a release date yet. I imagine we're getting a slight delay, but not a huge delay. Maybe we'll look at a July or August release would be my current guess for when this thing will release but obviously we don't know yet that's the, all the information i really have for you guys so i'll keep look i'll keep my eyes open for any new information if you guys see anything uh let me know with that i'll see you guys in the next video